This is my fake A steak and cheese. I'm using chuck roast, two pounds, 27 ounces. First, I rub down my roast with olive oil. This helps the salt stick. Now I sprinkle a nice amount of salt on both sides. Doing this helps the flavor get on the inside and draws out moisture. Now I set it in the fridge for 24 hours uncovered. This is how the roast looks after 24 hours. In the fridge and two hours at room temperature. I pat off any excess moisture to get ready to torch. When I torch the roast, it promotes fat rendering and a jump start on browning. I'm using my thermometer to cook the roast to 127 degrees Fahrenheit and then let it carry over to around 132 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using the Ninja at 275 degrees Fahrenheit on air roast, which has a maximum fan speed. Note, 250 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature for a roast. It cooks slower, making it more tender. Long story short, it took 23 minutes to get this roast to a medium rare. Cooking the meat at 275 gave me a better crust on the outside. After cooking, I put the meat in the freezer for 30 minutes to firm up the meat to help with the cutting. Now, that's medium rare. I could have got it more tender, but I'm happy with the results. I'm using a serrated knife to get my meat as thin as I can but I don't want to freeze the meat too much because it can get dangerous when cut frozen. Welcome to On The Menu. Now it's time to fix the sandwich. I put down some olive oil. Now I'm on high heat. I saute red and green peppers, sweet onions, and mushrooms. The vegetables I pressure cooked beforehand. I add salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper. I saute for a couple of minutes. Now I add my medium rare steak, still on high heat. I add my cheese, provolone and gouda. I cut the heat down to a medium. I mix just to combine. Now it's time to fry my egg real quick. I've been seasoning at every level. It's time to build my sandwich. I'm using homemade English muffins. First I add my steak with the cheese and vegetables. Now I add my fried egg, and last but not least, the steak drippings. The extra steak that falls off the sandwich, I would mix that up with some polenta or grits. This is not ribeye meat, but it's an excellent choice on a budget. 